It's a pleasure now to welcome Richard Stern onto the big program. His uh, debut on Humboldt State tonight, and he is the assistant sports information director. Of course, you work uh, hand in hand with Dan Pambianco, who uh, makes guys like my job so much easier here at Humboldt State. But uh, it's not like you've been working in the sports uh, PR SID uh, business for the last uh, however many years since you graduated high school. You've uh, kind of doing the private sector thing, right? Then decided you wanted to get back into sports? Correct. I had gone to Northern Arizona University, uh, left school, uh, went into the private sector, did that for about 20 years. I was in nonprofit fundraising. Okay. Uh, woke up one day, 40 years old, and decided I just didn't want to do that anymore. My first love had been athletics and had been working in sports information. Uh, so I decided to go back to school, uh, finish my journalism degree, and go back into this industry. Went to San Jose State. Uh, well, first off, take us through that morning. You wake up and you're, you know you're doing 20 years the same gig. I mean, uh, imagine you get. I've been at my job about 10 years now. I'm pretty comfy, and you know I wake up and you know, maybe I think one day. You know, today I'm going to become a uh, you know a multimillionaire. But in the end, I decide to go back to work that same day and just grind it out. So what's it like? Take me through that day. You wake up and said, you know what? 20 years. I've had enough. I'm uh, I'm going to do this. Okay. I had pitched uh, along with my partner. I had pitched a hospital for fundraising uh, and to do some, uh, I'll, I just went blank, but it, I pitched them to do some fundraising. Right. Uh, and I walked out of that meeting and realized that I'd probably have to sit down with about 300 people and pitch them all and, and really ask them for a lot of money. And I'd been doing it for so long, I, it, it just struck me. I just didn't want to do that anymore. I hated doing it. I hated groveling for money like that. Uh, and so I just said, I, I can't do this anymore. And, and it was a process. Uh, sat down with my partner and said, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. Let's figure out a way to get me out of this over the next six months. I was fortunate in that he was able to do that. Uh, and really had been thinking about what else did I want to do and, and did some soul searching and, and really thought, when was I happiest in my life? And it was when I was a, an undergrad uh, working in sports information. I am a sports fanatic. I love everything about it. I love writing about it. love being around it. Uh, and really thought, if I've got to work another 20 years, I'm going to do what I want to do and what makes me happy. And, and that led me back into, uh, into doing this. So you get out of that, that uh, business venture and you go to San Jose State to, to complete some work. And I assume you're working uh, in the sports information department there? Correct. I, as soon as I uh, enrolled in school there, sat down with the gentleman who was the sports information director who had been doing it for about 30 years, a gentleman named Lawrence Fan. Uh, told him what I, who I was and, and who I had worked with before. I'd worked with a couple of people who were in the Hall of Fame in sports information. I assume information. most people working, walking into his office are 19, 20, maybe 22, 23, not 40 years old. No, not 40 years old. I was fortunate in that he knew the people that I had worked okay. for before. Uh, and they took me on as a volunteer to really to begin with. Uh, I proved what I could do. Uh, I showed that I was serious. Uh, I had a plan. Uh, and I stuck to it and ended up working there for two and a half years. Uh, ended up being the SID for women's soccer, for softball, and for women's basketball. When I graduated, I started looking for a job. Uh, the job at Humboldt State yeah. came open. I was fortunate in that Dan Pambianco knew Lawrence Fan, uh, And Lawrence put in the good word for me. I came up and interviewed. Loved the area. I'm an outdoors person uh, and was very fortunate in that I got the job. Now, what's it like switching from uh, San Jose State, which also a state school, but you know, Division One, uh, huge school, big programs, uh, but you know, right in the middle of an area where there's the Giants, there's the 49ers. I mean, there's Stanford. You know, I imagine San Jose State athletics is an afterthought on the peninsula and in the South Bay. Uh, you may disagree with me, but nevertheless, you come here, Humboldt State. It's a different dynamic. It's a smaller sports uh, setup as far as smaller school, 8,000 Division Two. But it's the show in town. Everybody loves their Humboldt State Athletics here uh, in Humboldt County and on the North Coast. So what was that transition like? Uh, you're, absolutely, you're absolutely right. In, in San Jose and in the South Bay, San Jose State is the fifth or sixth or seventh thought uh, in people's minds. And these programs are not successful. Uh, coming here, it was a breath of fresh air. One, people care about what's going on. The sports are covered. And the teams are successful. Uh, and in my line of business, regardless of what level you're at, Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, you want to win. What I do, you want to win. And as long as we're winning, I'm happy. Uh, and from what I've seen, the programs are either winning, they're on the upswing, uh, and that's you know that's the kind of stuff that I want to be around. And so 
it was it was an easy transition well, for me. Well, talk about it. For me, I know as the radio guy, when I call a football or basketball game or softball game, it's a lot more fun when they win. And people think, hey, that was a great broadcast. Well, they say that because the team won. Whereas if they lose, hey, you did a terrible job tonight. <laughs> but but having that said, do you find do you take more pleasure in writing an article uh, after the big win opposed to the big loss? It is always easier. Okay. Uh, my job is always better uh, when you're winning. Uh, people are more interested in what you're doing. And, and yeah, if you see loss after loss after loss, uh, those are very difficult to write because it becomes, to a point, it can become formulaic. Here's what happened. Here's how we lost. Uh, I went through that for the last two years in San Jose State basketball. They were 5 and 56. Mm. Five wins, 56 losses. That story I wrote the, virtually the same way, <laughs> virtually 50 times. Uh, uh, and that's no fun. And so coming here and, and seeing the success, that's a blast. And, and it's a lot more fun to get to know the kids. They're a lot more open when they win. The coaches are more open when they win. You know, the community cares a lot more. And it just becomes, you know, it's just, it makes my job a lot better. What's it been like? You've obviously you've covered a lot of soccer. You're new here, CJ Johnson coach of uh, the men's and women's soccer team are new. What's it been like for the two of you to kind of go through these new humble beginnings together? It's been a lot of fun. CJ is uh, a great personality and he re really seems to know what he's doing. Uh, his style of soccer, the ladies have picked up uh, very quickly, uh, the possession type game. The men, it's a little bit more difficult just because the men play a more wide open game in general. Uh, but he's been great and he's helped me a lot. I am not a soccer expert by any stretch <laughs> of the imagination. If you read the stories, you'll see that. Uh, but he and Brendan and Lindsay have sat down with me, and we've talked about terminology uh, and the, the way the game works. And I'm getting to know it a lot more. I equate it a lot to hockey, which I know a fair amount of. But uh, he's very good at helping me. All right, hey, you'll be busy this weekend. Richard, thank you so much. Humboldt State tonight, coming back with more right after this. There are plenty of ways to find us these days, but good old fashioned word of mouth from satisfied members is our favorite. Coast Central Credit Union, your real local lender and financing choice since 1950. Everybody's heard about cash for clunkers, but what about your clunker furniture? Trade-in days are here at Burns Furniture. In with new furniture and out with your old. Trade in your old sofa, get $100 to $300 toward the purchase of a new one. Trade in your old recliner, get $50 to $75 toward the purchase of a new one. Trade in that old sectional. Trade in that old dining set. Trade-in days are here at Burns Furniture, 5th and G Streets, downtown Eureka, voted number one. Do you like authentic New York-style pizza? Come down and enjoy Big Pete's Pizza in Arcata on the corner of 15th and G Street or our new Eureka location off the 101 on 5th and R Street. Big Pete's has 12 beers on tap, 10 big flat screen TVs, and arcade games for the kids. Call us up for delivery anytime and let us bring you the finest pizza the North Coast has to offer. That's right, we deliver. Call us in Arcade at 826-1890 or in Eureka at 441-1151. It's time now for our Big Pete's Trivia where simply answer the question correctly, send the email to me, and a winner will be chosen and they win free pizza. Pretty easy compared to what the HSU Lumberjack football team has in store for this weekend as they battle Central Washington University right here in the Redwood Bowl. This week's trivia, name the former Central Washington quarterback who's now a backup for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm J.B. Mathers. Send your answer to jb at jbmathers.com.